4 a.m. You guys need to stay tuned for the whole workout because at the end of this workout, I'm going to ask you some questions. And I'd like you guys to see if you can answer these questions and then I'll give you the feedback on it. So we're going to do a kick-ass workout, uh, a fun one. But there's going to be a reason why we're doing this. And the, the main reason is you are going to completely miss the main reason, most likely. 99% of you guys will. Um, but I'm going to test these guys as well. Uh, they've been training with me for a while now and uh, see if they understand the concept of the workout. Pros and cons. Let's get to it. And pro and con. Pro <laughs> and cons. last set there hopefully that filming was really good and nobody oh. fucked it up yeah no one did you should talk through these you know that right I was waiting for a good talking point oh, okay. these guys All right, first set today, warming up on the incline hammer strength. Normal grip. Leaning slightly into it. Let's go Young Gun Club stud. Colt Nader, make sure you guys catch him in eight weeks. Let's go Colt, come on, come on. Hey guys, we just finished up inclines, three sets of eight on a machine, little hammer machine. We're gonna jump over to decline now and hit yeah. another. Just gonna make the cut. <laughs> uh, we're gonna decline here, three sets of 10. Check it. Uh, I'm still gonna quiz you guys and these guys at the end of this video. Come on. Bring that. All right, 430. We're crushing it. I'm probably the strongest one here. Um, yeah, so we'll just hit four plates. Huh? Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> We're just cutting promos. Nice. Woo -hoo -hoo. You're getting bored in this set, huh? Savage. We'll catch you at five plates. That's how you do it. All right. Now watch a clean set with no jerking. Just the muscles working. There we go. Set number one, we're gonna do three sets That's here, ten reps. <laughs> yeah, so. Bump, bump. What's up there with you? How many sets have you gone? How many sets have you gone? How many have you gone yet? I haven't seen you hit this weight once. Not once. You keep yelling at me to do ten reps, I haven't seen you do one rep. Tell me how many sets we've done. <laughs> I've done about eight. See, I haven't seen you do I'm one. I'm gonna help you guys out. He's done two sets. No, I haven't. The whole six sets before that were warm ups. Oh, 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 oh. So we're just doing do a six set. sets of warm up. Yeah. See, that's unreal. Wallbangers. Some sets you haven't done oh. one set. Really? See, playback. Mel, I ain't dealing with your shit. Today. Hit that shit. Come on. Don't do that, guys. Don't don't sit there and talk to like don't you know a whole bunch of sets down. when you're warmed up. Don't. Those aren't sets. Working you, sets. You mean we don't count one yeah. plate? No, we don't count one. We plate. don't count two like plates. This guy. And this guy's gonna go wrestle and he's already hey. acting like this. Talk Come to on. me when I'm out of the machine. Right? Sorry. Sorry. That's our ninth set that we just finished. Mike's done maybe one. <laughs> There's always one. No I and T. Hey, you guys, you guys, take a look at that. 
<laughs> natty or not? Fuck yeah, he's natty. <laughs> <laughs> not even a question. Shit. <laughs> Side note, yeah. You guys that, uh, nothing. I love you. Let's do a set. <laughs> Narrow grip on the decline, sitting high on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Not really sitting on that bench. Ball bag dragon. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Balls of hand. We got this AEW crybaby today. Yeah, he's crying today. And only he's working out. So, that being said, you're not even working out. The same in this set. Again, don't count warm-ups, which he does. Um, we are now hitting a fly, full range of motion, over-exaggeration. You guys have seen me hit this before, but remember the workout. Hammer inclines, hammer declines, machine flies, and then we got one more exercise after this, and we're gonna speed this a little faster, maybe some supersets. All this weed talk, man. All right, guys, remember, uh, at this point, I just was given a feel to see if these guys have picked up on the pros and cons of today's workout. Have you guys? If you have, write down the time that you figured out what we're doing or, or what's the pros and what's the cons of this bad boy. Or as uh, Serge said, what'd you say? In what aspect? I don't remember saying that, actually. Ooh, he doesn't yeah. remember anything. Wow, well, wasn't on film. Okay, fair enough. Guess who's up? <laughs> of course I am. Weird. Weird. Stack it. Let's do our first set. Yeah, sure. I'll stack it. We can stack this, boy. I'm just here trying to help him. And this is how they. This is how they act. Oh, Larry's, oh, Larry's here. Hey, Larry, come talk on camera. Hey, you can. <laughs> come on, Larry. Come here. Maybe I'll give you a reason to take that off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's make it the cut. Uh, come on, buddy. <laughs> Four. Four. Come on, buddy. Five. Six. Seven. I'm gonna put my keys in my eight, pocket. Eight. Put big show my tries. Nine. Oh, the horseshoe. Wall banger. All right, so this is the super set we got going on. Over-exaggerated flies. This is a great machine, by the way, one of the best. And then we're moving on over here. Hold on, let me not cover the face, the money maker. Oh, you're doing this one? I'll fight you on camera right now. To the super set. Rare super set by Michael Hearn. Nice 90 degrees, getting a good stretch there. Yeah, that's technically our first set now on this exercise. Do some warm ups, get the body ready for it, this range of motion, and now we're hitting it. We're gonna hit four sets, 12 reps each exercise. That's one. Yeah, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, we got the random. It's just so obvious. If it was me against Laura this morning, I would have come with a little more material. Let's be honest, man. This is man. crazy. See, it's a little intervention. He's a little sensitive this morning. Yeah. Circled around me. You gotta have to toughen up, buddy. You gotta toughen up. You'll be on TV in three weeks. Let's go. Stuck that, that shit. shit out of my face. <laughs> you gotta get used to this. <laughs> Alright. That's me every night. <laughs> You're up, Paul. We're gonna get some good angles. Hey, did you hey did you get the <laughs> did you did you get me stacking it, right? Yeah, I got you oh, stacking okay. it. I didn't get you stacking it. Just wanna make sure. Look, we got him stacked. 
That's right. Coordinators. You're going to want to flex through this the whole time. Flex Mind through muscle, it. muscle, close your eyes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hard special power bodybuilding. Hey, See, I plugged you. Hey, you've been talking shit all day. Where'd you get that shirt? This is a stolen shirt because I can't get any. It's funny how that fits now again. Right. <laughs> it was like a nightgown on me two months ago. Your night shirt. I slept in it. Come on! What do you mean seriously do? Did you know how many sets? Did I not say four sets of 12 like 10 minutes ago? Pretty sure you opened up this exercise by Dyson. giving the exact sets, reps, and superset. And look how his response is. And you're going to be putting matches together? you got to remember that? Oh, my God. Go, Colt. Make it afraid. Hit that Make shit. Make it afraid. Guys, you guys see these YouTube videos of Mike, and he's hyping everybody up. Like, come on, guys, let's work out together. Follow yeah. me. Let's do this. You get him in real life, he just beats you down constantly. I've been reduced to rubble, and it hurts. I get just crushed all day. emotionally so you build up later. Bring it down. The build up has never come. Yeah, it's gonna come later. <laughs> when? It's the build up. Later. <laughs> we got the new guy. We got people just crushing me from the, every angle. We got the new guy roasting shit. Let's go, Colt. Hey, give me some stretch action. Yeah, there you go. Bring the elbows up a little bit. That's, yeah, that's your elbows. Good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna just show you guys. I don't know if you guys notice. Okay. Look at over there. Look at over there. I, I don't. We're not doing anything. It's not in the frame. <laughs> the camera doesn't go that far. That's a super set for the non-believers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask Serge first what he picked up on this workout. Come here, Serge. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. I'll show you. I'll show you a big pro right pro, here. Pro me a. Oh, Ooh, show this guy. Ooh. Booyah! Oh, oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Serge. Tell me a benefit from this workout. No. Nothing. A benefit? Speak up. Take that off. Right. Social distancing. Yeah, I think a benefit from this workout is like. Not only are we recovering the muscle using a lot of machinery and isolating, okay. but you're also like benefiting from, with the isolation, you're also shaping. Okay. You know? Okay, what's, uh, what's the bad things from this workout? I don't think there's a con to the workout. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Colt, next. What are we doing? Oh, pros and cons? Pros and cons. Cole, All try right. to give us more than 10 seconds I got of uh, you. Yeah. I got you. information. Right. So the pro of this workout is we've been crushing two days all week. Our bodies are shot. We're sore as hell. So we just went machines. Not as heavy on the joints, muscles as free weights. We still went heavy. Still pushed ourselves a little bit. The cons of this workout are there's six people here, and I was the only one that did any work. Only one that got any better, and I had to just hear chirping all day. So that's the pros and cons. Comment below. Let me know what you think. All right. All right. Hey, this is my nutrition plan right here. <laughs> Swipe up right here. It should be right here. All right. All right. Here, hand me this. Hand me this. Pros. Oh, shit. Pros. Pros. We got to um, relax today. You know, this is one of those exercises where. December, January, we were on the Blitz. Um, You'd come in, we'd bring the potion, and we'd just go through the machines, and just, just kind of relax the whole day, just get in, get out, nice. get nice. the workout well, three done. Of you guys kind of got that. What was the, what's the bad thing about this workout? We didn't lift we didn't, any yeah, we didn't fucking hit anything. We didn't do inclines, we didn't do our re real inclines. And what, what is that gonna do? Nothing. What do you mean, oh, we're not gonna get, we're not gonna get better. Okay. In, in the sense of, right. you know, power. I like that, power. Let's bring it back around. So, some, and I didn't tell him this, but the first part, they got really well. Yeah, and we came in. Yeah, we got a workout in. Yes, we got something in. Understand, like, what, what Colt said is that we've been doing two a days, so we're beat up, we're tired. Now, for you guys that are tired and you're beat up and you want to get in and get a workout in, great. We did that. Now, here's the problem with this workout. And this is something that's going to happen to all of you guys. When you start going away from the incline, 
free weight. Stabilizing muscles, uh, everything else, really, really heavy, um, and really getting into the grit of the workout with the compound movements. And you start thinking that a machine is just the same thing. It's an incline, and that's an incline. It's the same thing. It's not. It's, it's completely two different worlds. Today, we did a relaxed workout, but we got in here and got a little something in and not push it. Do not get carried away with this. This is the same thing that you guys do. Hey, I'm going in to train triceps. What'd you do? Tricep push down and, and then a kickback machine. You know, when you start getting away from those raw basic movements, you're missing the workout. You're missing trying to get better. Now you're just trying to get in and get a workout in and you're thinking it's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Your body will adapt to this. It will ease up. This workout seems like it was great for somebody that's watching this. It's not. This is you getting through. This is if you have an owie or an injury. Let's step back a little bit. This is you getting back into the workouts after the quarantine. This is great for that. But when you get that energy back, when your body feels good, get back to the hard stuff. All right, so even though a workout looks good, it may not be good. I was just talking to these guys about the aspect of... Like what? The aspect of machines and how people get carried away. Like, you know, oh, I love the incline, the dumbbells and the flies. Mm -hmm. And then uh, today I did the machine, the hammer hammer and the other two machines. And now people will look at that and go, oh, that's a great workout. Where you and I will look at it and go, don't get carried away on those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are days that you're tired or you yeah, beat up yeah, and stuff. And those joints, are good. You're trying to give your joints some yeah. break. But you got to deal but with that iron. You got to go back to the yeah, other you gotta stuff. You got to get back to the rough stuff. And that's that iron. If you're not dealing with it, you're really not going to feel a whole lot of muscle. You're trying to relax that body. I mean, that's what I've used it for, is a more of a relaxant, because it helps the body get back to where, hey, I gotta get back to the hand. <laughs> that's just like how I do it, man. That's the truth. Yep, straight those out. Little, those that's little why you look the way you look. I mean, it's your age, and I look the way I look at my age, it's the iron. But I, they don't understand that. They don't understand, they don't understand that. that. They, they think if a workout's a workout. No. It doesn't matter if it's a machine no. or if it's an incline. No, you got to use If it's a fly a yeah. with the dumbbells compared to a fly with Good. a machine. It's, it's the same things, guys. But there's no change. It's a huge change. It, in it. it does change it. I'm sorry. I mean, we used to do like, what is it, uh, back in the old days, five sets of, what is it, uh, 15 reps per set. And, I mean, all, it was all dumbbells and barbells. The only machine in there was the Nautilus machine. Everybody's talking about classic bodybuilding. And think about the equipment that you grew up with. I had a little bit more than you. Yeah. But, but you basically had barbells, benches, dumbbells, and stuff. And that, wait a minute. How no machine. Get, how do you get a workout on that? How do you get a workout? That's, that is the workout. That is the workout. People try to get carried away with all these other machines and stuff and go in. And, yes, it feels good on the joints for a time. But if you continue that, you're going to deteriorate. Completely. <laughs> That's what I've noticed in a lot of the guys. I see a lot of the professionals using the machine machine. I go, well, show me some iron, dude. And they get pissed off, but that's, that's the whole thing. If you ain't gonna build no physique, really, so that's gonna you, maintain like yours and mine. Let me tell you this. It's not gonna happen. How, how, do you, how do you not get them pissed off by saying the truth? A lot of people can't handle the truth. Oh, geez <laughs> Louise. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise, <laughs> oh. I'm not saying. A lot of people, I'm, I'm dealing with it online. People can't handle the truth. If you say the true thing about something, everybody gets pissed off and come after you on a bully. And I tell them, hey, I'm going to be bullied. Yeah, point, and, point. Uh, it's not you, you ain't bullying Rob Robinson. <laughs> no, Listen, no, 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 no. Nobody's I'm ever quiet, done it. But hey, don't piss me off. Forget about it. That's just how I do it. You go out of it, put your heart and soul in. Just I've seen you've been doing it for years. Myself have been doing it for years. We put our time into the army. Machines yeah, is a no, risk. Let me say this, though. I understand what he's saying. This is if you guys want to get better. With better. Time. If you want to get better. If you want to just work out, we got no problem with you going and doing machines. Yeah. Go do machines. I don't have no problem with machines. Have fun with it. I'm just, we are trying to talk to the small few out there that goes, is there a difference? Yes, there's a difference. Do I want to get better? If you want to get better, do the one side. Exactly. If you want to relax for the day and you just want to get in there and kind of tussle a little bit. Go to the machines. Go to the machines. <laughs> And we didn't talk about this. Mm -mm. No, that was um, great. I mean, it's just in my in my being from started out with me. barbells, bricks, cement blocks, little bathroom. We still got to talk about all that kind it's of definitely. stuff. When you were your oh, definitely. See, that's how I started. I didn't have the weight like you had. You had a little bit more than me, but I was able to utilize those things prehistoric, as you recall, to build my physique. It's the best things in the world. I'm telling you. So again, guys, don't get don't get mad. We're just trying no. to help you out and give you something that maybe. A lot of these uh, kids today will say, no, no, just read the book, do the machines, you'll be fine. 
They're just misleading you. And they're not purposely misleading you. They're only misleading you because they have no experience. They've just read the books. And understand, experience, experience is everything. It's everything. If you don't have the experience, you can't really progress. Yeah. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work. A lot of people come to me daily, want to get into it, and I said, hey, listen, you ready to do the hard work? And that's what, when, when people go, hey, I work out all the time. Okay, but let me see the workout. And then you see the workout and you go, well, okay, I can see understand why you're looking at One like more that. thing. No disrespect, but that's what I do yeah. all the time. This is my job. I think this is going to really help you guys separate who you're watching and learning from, uh, from the knowledge these guys have. That, there's a huge difference and if you are not getting better if you're not feeling stronger the body more of a solid piece of iron exactly this might help you guys exactly completely i mean you got to deal with that your money kid i'll see you tomorrow right. for legs later 5 a.m got it squats